Let's see. Las Cruces, 1998. Back home. When I lived back home when I was younger, and in my teen years even, I screamed across the house after I finished reading. Mom! Dad! When one of you finally heard and ventured into my room and asked me why I was yelling, I said goodnight and simply asked, can you turn out my light? And now in the, I'm in my room in another city, Las Cruces, in my same day bed from home. I've said goodnight to my roommate and I finished reading. I looked towards my closet door and realized you're not there. Pushing back the comforter, I climb out and touch the switch. It turns dark. Deadline. Noon on Monday, noon on Thursday, it's give and take at the Valencia County News Bulletin. I drove away from Las Cruces yesterday. This time, a flicker of me wanted to stay with Jessica, but I didn't want to work with, at Oshman Sporting Goods or walk to class at New Mexico State. Not really. I wanted, I wanted to grab a chunk of the turquoise Las Cruces sky with its neon orange clouds, but I had to go return to Belen, to my little apartment on Damon Street, real communities, my job as a reporter, photographer, my reality of no best friend, no boyfriend, further away from my mother, Alamogordo, and the light that burns within me, her light. <laughs> New York City, 2003. David Lloyd, he said he felt exactly the same way, didn't want to impose on my dream, he called my declaration of love endearing. Now he doesn't know if we're compatible based on our rec recent feelings, being together for one month before I left. I have too much, too much time with this temp job to think about you, David. How much time have you already stolen from me? Greeting visitors, employers, answering, answering the phone, Walter's career health, how may I help you? You make me crazy. Every goddamn day since I've been here, you plague me. On good days, it feels like comfort. Daily devotional emails, me in my lap, me in my pajamas, eating Cheerios at the computer. Each one, reading your emails, each one ended with "I love you, Jenna Dawn." I don't know what the future holds, but somehow you have become the most important person in my life. Skip ahead two months. You wrote in a letter you're not willing to take the risk. There are moments when I realize how incredibly romantic it would be to drop everything and come find you. The grim reality soon sets in, and I remember, life is not a movie. Whatever, if you can change your feelings overnight, then I will too. Here are the reasons I am taking into consideration for not being with you. You are 34 and living back in Alamo. It's been years since your college heyday, but you still smoke weed, keeping it from your family so you continue to be known as the smart, responsible Christian son. Play the role of the good guy. Meanwhile, you're a coward who runs away from risk. Super self-righteous, arrogant, and prejudiced against other races and lifestyles. You have no idea what you want to do with the rest of your life, but you sure don't mind judging everybody else. <laughs> My friend Jeremy is coming to visit over Labor Day and barring a job offer, I will be returning to Florida with him. I hope you find a girlfriend in the Sunshine State who love watching sports on TV, playing outdoor volleyball, and getting stoned. Good luck with that one, David. <laughs> so it's all good. Thank you.